The Stock Library Manager on the Xerox Versant 3100 Press lets you automate and simplify the process of creating, managing, and fine-tuning stocks so you can do more each shift. This built-in technology lets you get the most out of the Versant 3100's media latitude. You can easily dial in and define a stock only once and know that the press will be optimized and ready every time that particular stock is used. Any stock conditions or updates are automatically communicated between the DFE and the Stock Library Manager, ensuring quick and easy job setup. Correctly entering new stocks the first time they are used minimizes setup time on future runs. Let's take a closer look at how easy it is to use. The Stock Library Manager gives you a simple way to add custom stocks that are not already included in the Xerox recommended media list. In this example, we'll add a new stock that has been specified for a customer job. Select the Create New button at the bottom of the Manage Stock Library window. In the New Stock Setup window, give the stock a unique and identifiable name and define its attributes such as size, type, weight, and coding. Be sure to go to Advanced Setup and deselect stock by name only. This is selected by default and may cause issues with calibrating this new stock. This stock is now added to your library. Next, we need to load the stock into the press's paper tray to complete the setup process. When the tray's Stock Properties window opens, select Stock Library and choose your newly added stock. Then, select OK. Once the new stock is created within the Stock Library Manager, the paper catalog at the DFE is automatically updated. This lets an operator call out a stock by name without having to spend valuable time redefining all the attributes of a stock. That's it. Using this fast, automated process, operators can quickly create and manage a library of stocks, reducing setup time and maintaining a smooth flow of production. Visit Xerox.com to learn how Xerox Versant Presses can help you do more for your business.